Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis and welcome back to another video. Now, uh, in today's video, we are going to be cutting up the giant Lobo from the 300 gallon reef. Now, obviously it's not in the 300 right now. It's actually sitting in one of my empty Loboys here in the fish room, but it is attached to the main system that the 300 is on. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while, I actually got this coral back in uh, late 2014, early 2015, before I started YouTube. And um, I got it from my buddy Brian, who actually passed away a couple years ago from cancer. And uh, when I originally got it, it was just a little piece, just this little, little bitty piece. And uh, he originally got it from a tank, a client tank that had it for years and years and years and years and cut it up and it just kind of was passed down over time. Now, I have yet to uh, identify the specific name of this Lobo or find it anywhere else um, in the community. And uh, yeah, so with that said, if you are interested in a frag of this stuff, uh, by the time this video comes up, they will be up on the website. And uh, yeah, so first come, first serve. I do know that I am going to put one of them back in the 300 so I can continue to grow it. And one or two of the other ones are already spoken for. But either way, they're going to be relatively large chunks of coral and um, hopefully they will go to good homes. Now with that said, we're going to be cutting this up in a way that I've never cut a coral before. Um, we're going to be using a saw yeah, <laughs> and by myself. So uh, my game plan for this is to, uh, before we start cutting it, is to come in here and kind of piss off the coral a little bit to get it to shrink up, to get a lot of this flesh inside the skeletal structure. Then we're going to bring it over to the coral cutting bench flip it upside down on a wet towel, and then cut it with the saw and see how it goes. Now, uh, again, I've never done this before, but I haven't, haven't yet found a saw or a diamond uh, bit saw blade that I can actually use to cut this. So we're gonna have to use uh, a, like a hand saw it's <laughs> with a 12 inch blade. It's gonna be interesting. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. And if you're watching this video now, it probably turned out okay. And uh, rest in peace to any of the fingers that might not be here. Uh, when this video goes live but either way uh yeah so with that said let's go over and i'll show you the saw and the, kind of the cutting bench and then we'll come back over piss this guy off and start the cutting process all right guys so we're over here at the cutting bench and this is the basic equipment that i'm going to be using to cut this lobo uh, minus the gloves uh they're around here somewhere i can't find them but either way i did get glasses because well i want to at least make sure i don't get any coral guts in my eyes and uh, yeah, so when it comes to the saw, it's just a basic reciprocating saw. I got it off of Amazon, relatively cheap, I think like 50 or 60 bucks. And I went ahead and picked up a 12 inch blade uh, from Home Depot yesterday. And when it comes to the teeth, I got the smallest teeth. I don't know, that's, that's not focusing. Either way, I got the smallest teeth possible. Uh, that way it doesn't cause so much trauma to the coral. And uh, I figured we'll try to go as slow as possible. There's only one speed on this thing and it's basically balls to the wall. So I figured the smaller the teeth and kind of just finagle it in there, I guess. Like I said, I've never done this before. I hope it turns out all right. And uh, yeah, so this is the towel that we're gonna use. I'm gonna put some RODI water on there and get it wet. Now you might be asking, why is the towel wet? Well, I just don't wanna take a chance of putting a wet coral on a dry towel and then when I remove it, it takes flesh off the coral. I'd rather just be a wet towel with RODI and then it's just, you know, there's no chance of it pulling any of the flesh off the coral. That's pretty much the idea behind that. And uh, yeah, so let's go over and start irritating this coral and we're gonna be chopping it up, all right? All right, so I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to cut this. I figure we'll do the bigger chunks first and then kind of separate it from there because you can see it's starting to break off more. So, alrighty, uh, let's do a test cut here, see how this does. Well, that was surprisingly easy. Okay, well, let's not jinx it yet. 
Okay, so I want to try to get this done as quickly as possible. Um, let's kind of see what's going to be easier here. Oh boy, okay. I almost think I should turn it this way and cut in between and straight down. That way I don't nick the flesh, which might be harder, but it seems like a good idea. So I went ahead and uh, cut everything up the best that I can. I am going to go through in a little bit and just kind of flatten them out like I started previously just so they could sit good on the bottom of the tank. Um, but um, what I didn't realize is that some of this paint came off this blade during the cutting process, which I didn't know why I didn't think about that in the first place. But either way, I'm going to put these in some a bucket of water and scrub them with a toothbrush to kind of get all the red off and to clean them as much as possible before throwing them back in the, uh, the low boy. So let me go ahead and uh, get started with that. So it looks like we got four pretty decent chunks from this uh, this Lobo. Now I was considering maybe cutting uh, through here just because it's practically about to uh, you know split anyways. But I didn't really want to add any unnecessary stress to the coral itself, so I don't mind just selling them in these chunks uh, this way. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and use the toothbrush, just kind of come in here and get some of this red off and clean clean up as much as I can. And I'm going to dip them a few times in uh, tank water. Again, to hope, hope, hopefully get any of that paint or any of that extra stuff off that might have came with, uh, with cutting it from that blade. So I'm going to do that real quick and we'll be back. Okay, so uh, they're relatively clean. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move them back over to the low boy and uh, wait for them to open up in the next, uh, I guess, day or so, maybe. Maybe they'll open up tonight. Um, it's a pretty resilient coral. Uh, they've been technically out of the water for about, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes or so. But uh, very, very um, strong coral. I've actually had this at a client's tank for a while. Uh, he was having some tank issues, brought it back. There was no problem. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and move these guys over and uh, see you in a second. All right, guys, so we're back here at the low boy, and the coral's been in the tank for about five to ten minutes or so, and they're already starting to open up, so that's really good. Now, uh, I am very thankful that this process went well. I did nick myself. I don't think it was with the saw. I think the coral itself, while I was moving it around, um, kind of got me. There is a little bit of a, a rough patch around the edge there, but, I, you know, that's with LPS. It's just kind of how it is. But either way, again, I'm very thankful that this process went well. Um, cleaned up all the paint that came on the blade, put them back in here. Now, I will be transitioning these corals over to my tub again because there's a ton of flow in that tub, and it'll kind of 
break off all this mucus and get them happier and fluffier sooner. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this process. It was extremely nerve wracking for me, but I'm glad it's done and I can put a piece of this back in the tank. I think I am going to put the smaller one back in and start this process over because I mean this is a little bit bigger than when it originally started, but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely excited to get it back into the 300. Now, I will put some pictures up of what they look like as WYSIWYGs, and if you guys are interested, let me know. Um, I think there might be three or maybe four available for sale, and uh, yeah, I hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you have any questions, let me know, and let me know in the comment section what you think about my uh, interesting way of cutting a coral. You know, first time it worked. It worked, uh, but I do have to say, don't try this at home. I think I have to say that. I probably have to say it in the beginning of the video. Maybe I'll put something up because one of y'all cut your dick off and then I'll be liable for it. But anyways, that's it for the video, guys. I will see you later. All right, peace.